Hi, Belen. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Teacher, I wrote you. Mm, when? Today? Yes, maybe a couple hours ago. Oh, okay. Let me let me check it out because I haven't uh, checked Facebook much. So, oh no, that's WhatsApp, right? WhatsApp, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then like, okay, let me just take a look. Um, but uh, okay. Oh, it was in regards uh, to the platform, right? Yes. Today I will complete. Uh, all I can. I already have in internet, so. Okay. Okay. Uh, before the class, I will complete it. Okay. Perfect. Sounds good. After classes. Como? Perdón. After classes. Yes. After classes. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so it's complete. Estaba aprendiendo, teacher. Antes yo trataba de relacionar con las palabras en español. Entonces yo siempre decía after era antes porque iniciaba con a. Oh, like from antes. A mí me costó, me costó okay. tan acostumbrarme a eso. And I get you, I get you. I, I don't know why, but those are like the most difficult words, I think. Uh, for me too, I always confuse before and after, but I have no idea why. Hi, Mauricio. Right left, teacher. <laughs> Helen, good evening. Teacher, right and left. Oh, okay. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you guys? Well, not that I remember, right and left was not very difficult to distinguish, but before and after, yes. Uh, before and after was really hard. Let me see. There are a couple of words, especially the ones that are similar in Spanish and English, that can be a little confusing. Guys, which were the most difficult for you, uh, the most difficult words for you to distinguish or, or to make the difference? So, uh, so we're discussing here with Helen that probably before and after. From Helen. Right, left, what else? Mauricio? Eh, Trout, La, las que se parecen, que son como tres o cuatro que son, se escriben casi igual. Mm, through, oh, through. Okay, so through, throughout, okay. Do, I guess, through, do. Okay, in thought. Those are like super similar. Hi, Ricardo, good evening. Great to have you. Thank you for your camera, guys. So nice to, to see you today. How are you doing? How is your Wednesday? Is your Wednesday very good? Very good, teacher. Good very good. Here. Sounds really nice. Okay. Oh, you know, yeah, I, as Mauricio said, through, that was a very difficult word. So we have through. Uh, any other word that was hard, guys, for you to get? Hi, Francisca. Good evening. Thank you for joining. There are a couple of words that I think at the very beginning, uh, oh, hi, great to have you. I think it's super common uh, that we make in, this, in English uh, to say, I have. I have 20 years old, I have 30 years old, right? Guys, no sé si les pasó, I don't know if that is still happened to you, but quitarse el yo tengo, uh, I am 20 years old, that was a little hard, wasn't it? Yes, it's, it's true, teacher. So yeah, normally for la edad in Spanish we say yo tengo, but in English we say I am, like yo soy. So it's a little confusing. Uh, now that I'm practicing French, you know, in French, es como yo tengo otra vez. Entonces it's like, oh my God, <laughs> super confusing, like super different. But anyway. In my case, uh, for example, in the right or the left, it's very difficult, but in Spanish too. It's like, ah, I don't okay. know if I'm, Dyslexica, I don't know, but <laughs> no, it's very I difficult. I don't think so. Not dyslexic, <laughs> probably just uh, a little bit issue with identification, yeah. but you'll get it. For example, when someone told me about right and left, I have to to uh, draw in the air when I uh, like I'm writing something <laughs> to remember with ah, what and okay. I have writing. But you know, something that works a lot because that is also very common. Uh, so on your on the palm of your hand, 
A, you can write the initial or you can write the first letter. So in the case of right, for example, you can write letter R and left, you can write letter L. So you can be like right, left. <laughs> to, oh. make the, to make the... Uh, Mm -hmm. I, I did that with my with my students uh, when we were practicing um, uh, directions, you know, because it was very tough for them to remember right or left or the other right. <laughs> so that I try with the, with the headphones because the headphones have the letter too. Mm -hmm. They do. They do. They have the L or R sometimes or they do have it, but not all of them. Hi, guys. Gabby, great to see you. Hi, Judy. Good evening. Kenya, hello. I already heard Francisco. Thank you for joining, guys. Already. Uh, guys, we were like uh, checking here with your classmates. Oh, Kenya, I'm sorry to hear that. All right. Thank you for joining then. And that is okay. So about the most difficult words for you. Guys, do you have any other word that you want to share? that is a little difficult for you to distinguish or that you confuse all the time? Nothing, you don't confuse any letter. Letters, words in English, Spanglish, no. Okay, so probably later you will remember. <laughs> so when we started practicing or when we start talking, so we normally uh, remember them. Alrighty, guys. Uh, today we're going to get started uh, with session number 16. Uh, we are going to start unit number three, right? And uh, thank you so much, guys, for completing the platform and completing the exercises too. Part of the, of the topic, that I have for you is a little debate. So we have 15 minutes uh, to debate on this, right? Um, I would like to listen to your opinion, guys, what you think about this. And so we have uh, video games are a waste of time. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? I know that some of you love video games. You are super good at playing video games. But some of us are also old school, so we are not that good. Um, I'm going to split, guys, the class in two, so we can have a, like four people defending, uh, four people attacking, right, and bombarding with a lot of negative ideas. And let's see how it goes. So I have. Uh, let me see. I'm going to have Mauricio, I'll have Ricardo, um, I'll have Helen. Guys, you're going to be in favor. No, you're going to be defending video games. So do you like video game, guys? Of course. Oh, okay, okay. So Helen, are you into video games? So I'm going to have Gabby. Uh, I'm gonna have Bel Belen. I'll have, I think I saw Francisco and Judy. So Francisco, uh, Judy, guys, you're going to be against video games, all right? So regardless if you like video games or not, you're going to be against, all right? So I'm gonna start in contra. You're going to be against video games, so the statement says, video games are a waste of time. Okay, guys, what do you think? What are your thoughts on video games? Are they good? Are they bad? What are your thoughts? Um, for me, teacher, uh, yeah. it is true. Okay. It's so, a waste of time. Okay. Maybe have, um, yes. It's an entertainment, it could be sometimes, but it's very difficult because it's like the video game controls your life. <laughs> and oh, that's yeah. really hard because uh, it's not considered like a vicio. How do you say vicio? Advice. Advice. A mm vice. -hmm. Yeah, so it's not considered like that, mm -hmm. uh, but it is. And it's very hard because some people 
get used to it and change their lives and everything. And, oh. and so, yeah, if you can control it, maybe you can handle it and maybe you, you haven't, you, you hasn't played. Okay. Okay. So video games can control your life. Okay. Guys, what do you think? Hi, Angelica. Good evening. So, hi. Uh, welcome, Angelica. Mauricio, I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. I think you were ready for this. I guess that is the best uh, way to get off your stress. And oh. I like and I like because I have a lot of topic. You can play uh, a video game about soccer, about baseball, about uh, basketball, okay. whatever you want. If you want a uh, win war, you can do it. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, uh, okay. it's a word too too bigger, and you can show your your favorite and have a little fun. Oh, sounds very interesting. So it's okay. It's big. You can choose whatever kind of games you like or sports you like. Okay. And you can relieve stress. Very interesting. Okay, guys, what about the rest? Angelica, we are discussing here video games. Uh, so you are going to be in favor or against. Hi, Carlos. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Uh, do you? Hi, Arnoldo. Great to see you. Uh, Good guys, evening. Hi, are you in favor or are you against video games? It's, from, it's with me? Yes, yes. Uh, Sorry, an, what's the question? Yes, yeah. Okay, if you take a look here, it says video games are a waste of time. So we are mm -hmm. like having a little debate on this. Are you into video games? Do you, do you think that video games are good? Mm, I have a lot of time that I don't play games in, oh. in, in video, but I love. Oh, I think okay. that if you can drive the way you do that is formidable. I like oh, very okay. much. I, I, I play games with my brother many times. In fact, wow. he he's ha he has a a, a console, a, not not a not playstation the other mm. a gamecube xbox, okay. xbox. Oh, xbox? xbox. Uh -huh. okay uh -huh. oh okay. he's still playing game he's 41 years old <laughs> but he but he's fan of the games uh -huh. I, I think that now the generations that play games they are a little you know between the 30s and 40s, and that will be very common. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That is good to hear. Angelica, I remember you said last time that you loved games. Is that correct? Yes, yes that is correct. I have my, my own console. I, I buy PS3. PS3. And have, oh. And I have, I don't know, like a 10, 10 games. Oh, wow, very interesting. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what do you think about this one? Video games are a waste of time. Do you agree that, or do you disagree? Uh, sometimes it's, it's true. <laughs> it, there, there is a, a waste of time when you, you, you know you have to do something and you don't do it because you are, you are, you are playing. You procrastinate, yeah, yeah. But, okay. And sometimes it's like uh, you know, you know, the video. if you have a stress day, oh. like for me, for example. So in your uh, case, it helps you with the stress? Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Okay, that's really nice to hear. So because Mauricio mentioned too, that when you are stressed out, so you can play games and you mentioned this again. Wow, very interesting, guys. Uh, what about the rest, guys? What, what, what are your thoughts on this? Video games are a waste of time. Um, so, Judy, Francisco, what about you guys? What do you think? Helen, Arnoldo. Hi, Enrique. Great to have I, you. Rafael, hello. Yes. I rarely ever played mm -hmm. um, the last game I saw, saw mm -hmm. is Mario 64. <laughs> 
Okay. Hello. 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 <laughs> wow. That was like the first games, right? Maybe yesterday. <laughs> that was kind of yes. the first, I think, the first games that appeared. Mario, it could be the first, but the 64 is not the first, but yeah, it's a classic too. Oh, but but that is the one in which, uh, so you have cars, right? So Mario, you have Luigi, that's, I think. But that's cars. Mario cars. Oh. But the 64, uh, uh, no, no, no was the, the first one. The classic, uh, it's even uh, in Nintendo. The first one, the first Mario is in consola. And today, for example, you have to download it an emulator for play the first one. In your wow. phone, you can play it. Can you? Oh, okay. Sounds yeah, very you already can play in your phone even, but you have to download the emulator. Uh, it's uh, it's a lot of games that are very classic, and the Nintendo doesn't run it. Oh, okay. That's really good to know. I mean, yeah, with the cell phones, uh, technology has come definitely a lot easier. Uh, so guys what, guys, what do you think about this one? Video games are a waste of time. Yes, no, why? Uh, I really like um, what Angelica mentioned. Yes, they are a waste of time, but they help a little with your stress. Guys, what do you think? Hi, teacher. I'm sorry. Hi. The microphone. <laughs> what what happened? Oh, oh no worries. No worries. You're good, <laughs> but we can listen to you. That's okay. I, I feel old, teacher. The mention is Nintendo PS3. Okay. I am, I am, um, when children, I use uh, Atari. When Atari. Yes. What was Atari? I have heard about it, but I'm not sure. It, it's the console. Uh, the first uh, the console. First, the first oh. console. Yes. The first. Uh, the, the very first. Is, yes. You have to use a, uh, <laughs> uh, how do you say? Una palanquita. Like a joystick. Uh, a joystick? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Some yes. kind of joystick. Oh, right. one, 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 I have not seen any, but I have heard a little bit about them. Okay, so um, taking this into account. Yes, sure. uh, yes. tell me, Ricardo. Uh, Die video game started in time. Atari Mario Bros. Uh, can you repeat, Una. please? Can you say that again? Video game started in why how time? Atari mm -hmm. Mario Bros. Okay. Mario Uno, Mario Dos, Mario Tres, Mario. Okay. So those were common? Common. Uh -huh. or, or, or what was, I'm sorry, what was your sentence? What was the idea? So Game. you mean, uh -huh. Game. Um, children. Like children. Okay. Uh, what is how time? Okay, so yeah, definitely they will. But this is the point. Uh, so do children play when they have the time? Uh -huh. they... Or do you think that they or... waste time? Guys, um, time. so for the ones who have babies, right? For the ones who have children, not babies, but children uh, or teenagers, uh, do you let your What's kids name? play for a long time? Your time. Mm -hmm. So, guys, do you do you allow your children to play uh, for a, a I don't know six hours, ten hours? No, of course not. How long do you think they should be playing? Two hours, too much. Two hours. Okay. More than that. 
or is it really a waste of time? What abilities do they, besides uh, stress, you know, um, any other reason why video, playing video games is good? Teacher, uh, it's, a, it's a funny com, uh, comparison. 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 Mm -hmm. Comparison. It's a, a really funny comparison because in adults, it's not a waste of time. But in children, it is a waste <laughs> of time. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> well, no, but Angelica said that yes. So Angelica said that it was a waste of time in adults. Yes. Uh -huh. But she said um, it is good for the stress, right? So... Guys, what do you think? Did you learn anything playing video games? Actually, the, my, my first contact with English is with the video games. Oh, super nice. Did you get in, uh, I don't know, did you get online to play games? No, my brother ha, uh, have the PS1 mm -hmm. and the disc, well, the games. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they have a story to follow okay. and he, he don't want to explain me so I can, I have to read it oh. and with the dictionary <laughs> but that, that's the way that I I, I learned, you learned. So. no but that is amazing I have heard <laughs> actually I have heard a lot of people who have learned with video games having a very good English um because of the vocabulary, you know, because they repeat and they try to, um, as you said, read the stories and repeat the stories. So yeah, sounds good. Okay, so English through video games. Guys, what about the rest of you? What do you think? Nobody is against. <laughs> Initially, I, I selected some people to be against. So I had Francisco Judy Gabby. But guys, are you against video games? Is anybody against? Nobody? I think video Hi. games, um, I think, is like any hobby. It's a hobby. Yes, like any other. OK, so you are in favor, I believe. Yes. OK, <laughs> OK, uh, so what are some benefits of playing video games i know it is a hobby but besides stress any other fun. benefit okay so it can be fun all right anything else good evening um probably to learn uh, new things and a new language yeah. also spend time and just uh relax okay so you can relax, you can learn. Okay. Well, yeah, I think that they are really good. With, yes. I think to share time with my son. Okay. Oh, like playing at the same time. Yes. Okay. Oh. Yes, yes. Okay. That is if you are not very competitive. <laughs> <laughs> because if you're competitive, you want to win all the time. Has it happened to you guys? Are you very competitive? Yes. yes. <laughs> Do you want to win all the time, even with your children? Of course. Yeah. Of course, Mauricio says. Okay. So yes, my, my nephews, they, they get angry with me. <laughs> no. So you beat your nephews? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, what games do you play with them? <laughs> uh, Little Big Planet, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, sometimes FIFA. Uh, oh. oh, okay. <laughs> yes. No uh, kidding. I don't remember the other. Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> do you bet? Do you bet anything on a on a on a match? Do you bet? Uh, sometimes. What do you uh, normally bet? What is your bet about money? No, snacks. <laughs> oh, like churritos. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I did it with my nephew while playing, playing soccer, you know, <laughs> not in video <laughs> games, but interesting. Guys, do you ever bet? Have you ever like placed a bet? Do you know the meaning of bet? It's normally no. no? Como apostar. 
Ajá, uh -huh, like you place a bet, like, I don't know, I win this match and I give you a dollar uh, or one dollar to the winner or, I don't know, churritos for the winner. So you normally place bets? My son uh, bets more time. <laughs> more time? <laughs> yes. The, the How time does it work? work? Yes. In uh, my case, I like it. Uh, Yuri, what do you like? In my case, I like it. Playing or betting? <laughs> <laughs> Which of no, them? No. <laughs> Which of them, miss? So, jugar or apostar? <laughs> like gambling and betting <laughs> or playing? Apostar. 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 No, Judy, yeah. what do you, what, what? Okay, wait. <laughs> what do you, but we are talking about betting in video games, right? What do you bet? What do you normally bet? A quarter, 50 cents, money? Five depends, depends. Three dollars, for example, uh-huh. Um, uh, a quarter, a quarter? A quarter, yes, a quarter. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. With my nephew sometimes, uh, we bet but who is going to wash the dishes? <laughs> so if I win, uh, he washes the dishes. And if he wins, well, it's my duty. <laughs> so uh, we never bet money. Wow, but very interesting. Delby, great to see you. Guys, what about the rest of you? Hi, Ruben. Thank you for joining. Margarita, thank you for joining, guys. I see Andrea. Hello. Hi, Imelda. Thank you for joining us. In my us case, with. teacher, yes. I only maybe bet how it, it, it that it's a verb, right, teacher? Bet, correct. That's bet. a verb. And what is the past? It's the same. Um, yeah, that's the same. Bet. Okay. Bet. Um, I only bet when I play the uh, uno. Oh. Games, okay. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, what I bet when I play video games, it's only, for example, if, if we are three. Uh -huh. uh, you lose your turn. Oh, okay. So it's not gonna and be. I continue a... playing, mm -hmm. and if I win, I continue playing and playing and playing, and maybe on, that's only what I bet. Oh, okay, okay. Sounds really nice. Uh, Carlos, you mentioned that you used to play with your brother. Did you ever bet it's on sure. a game? Uh, yes, Ricardo. I like to play. I study and. I use it to play Mario Bros. Who, one, one, two, two. three. Uh -huh. And like to play Pac-Man. Okay. Is is black is no 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 wait, but Pac-Man is only in consoles, right? Right, teacher. So you can only right. find them like in consoles. Oh, okay. Okay, very nice. So uh, let me see who else is here. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm sorry, I, I left Carlos. <laughs> uh, so did you ever bet Carlos uh, like with your brother or on, on a game, on a match? Uh, no, no, we play for pleasure. Oh, okay. And we dedicate many hours a day, sometimes uh, from the night to the morning. <laughs> no, yeah. wow, okay. Because okay. We, we play games that are so long, long, mm -hmm. um, just like Halo. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, years of war. I, I never uh, passed uh, like some level. <laughs> uh, and then we, uh, how could I say, nos retábamos. Oh, you challenge. A pasar, a pasar lo más que pudiéramos las oh, okay. llegar al siguiente, porque ahí iba a salir el siguiente juego y entonces. Oh, you challenge each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Entonces we play together to, to pass oh. it. As many levels uh, as yeah. possible. Oh, very nice. Yeah. yeah. So with my brother, I was like, hey, uh, I cannot pass this one. Help me. <laughs> and he always <laughs> came to rescue me. Okay. Thank you guys for participating. Sounds amazing that um, you have been, you know, into this thingy. Um, so what is the, the latest video game that you are familiar with? Francisco says, my father used to say that TV is got broken 
Oh, really? San Francisco, <laughs> you never play games? No, teacher. That's no, me, so me neither. Me neither. I didn't. I play games because my brother bought, I don't know, PS4. <laughs> so like one year ago, but in the past, I didn't really play games. Oh, okay. Welcome to my team, Francisco. <laughs> so I'm like, what's up, Tari? <laughs> okay. Guys, I have heard, maybe you know, because you are into this game thing. Um, I have heard that if you have Mario 64, like very old games, you can sell them at a very good price. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Oh. And even if the consola is the purple one, is a, a classic. I didn't, I didn't really get it, or I didn't believe it because somebody told me, "No, teacher, I sold two games, you know, and I got like two hundred dollars." And I was like, yeah. "Come on, for real?" But okay. And you like to play in the two? And you who like to play? And you boy like I to play me on TV? Uh, Ricardo, let me get your question correct. Uh, so your question is like who I like to play with, like on quien jugaba, like who I play with, or no? Hey. No, okay. not. Okay, wait. So la who pregunta, I... uh -huh. la pregunta era para usted que yes, a que jugaba antes hacía la palabra. Oh, what uh. I played. Uh -huh. oh, what I play? What did you play? What did you play? What did you play? What did you play? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, talking about video games, I didn't play much. But when I was growing up, uh, guys, I am in my 30s, you know. So <laughs> I grew up uh, playing in the streets, like Escondelero, Hide and Seek, Hopscotch, like Peregrina, and, and all those games. That you play with your neighbors. Uh -huh. So no, video games were very expensive in those days. And no jugaba, uh, no jugaba maquinita. I didn't like them. <laughs> I, I love reading, you know. So I really love reading. I'm not so, reading. I'm uh -huh. not reading. So I was into something different, I think. All right. But that was really darme, nice. Tell me cuál le gustaba jugar o Don Carlos. Tell me, did you did you grow up with video oh, games? Play. Margarita. Oh, play. Margarita. <laughs> did you play video games, girls? Oh, Don Carlos, que no, le gusta jugar a play. No. 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 Well, no. Welcome to my team, Tell me. <laughs> Margarita, what about you? <laughs> Good evening. Hi. Uh, no, teacher. You no, didn't play I... either. No. Oh, okay. What about your, your children, girls? Or your nephews? Yes. Uh, mis hijos, sí, juegan. Your children play games. How eh, many How many hours? ¿Cuánto tiempo los deja jugar? How many hours a day? Después que terminan las tareas, pero como no los monitoreo mucho por el trabajo, ah. no sé. <laughs> All afternoon. <laughs> Pobre, wow. pobre TV, pobre TV. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know, guys, but what Francisco said probably may be um, a belief, right? So that's a belief que todos teníamos in the past, que los televisores se dañaron, se dañaban, or what do you think? Yes, yes. I don't se think. Se color, color. Okay. Color. Guys, the ones who have experience, in this kind of gaming? I, I don't think that. No. No, right? No. Probably that's only a belief. That was a myth, right? Yes. That was yes. only yes. a myth. Uh-huh, that was only a myth. Yeah, because my friends play a lot of games and, and I don't think their TV is broken. Es más fácil que se le ruine a uno, you know? <laughs> <laughs> de tenerlo guardado, I think. Okay, guys, we are going to work a little bit with some adjectives to describe a couple of situations. So we have been discussing a... We have been... Give me one moment. Hold on. 
Okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay, guys, we have been discussing a little bit uh, some descriptions for the people, for the objects, uh, for the different activities. And I just want to go over this part with you to get it clear. So we have a couple of words here and we have words that finish with ed and words that finish with ing. So I'm going to the difference so we can get it clear and we can use them correctly. Uh, we have, for example, some words like surprising, tired, boring, disgusting, terrified, and interesting. So if you pay attention, we have words that we can use with ed and also with ing. For example, surprising, I can also say, I can also say surprised. Tired, I can also say tiring. Boring, I can say bored. Disgusting, I can also say disgusted. A terrified, I can say as well, terrifying. And interesting, I can say interested. Okay, so if you pay attention, we have two different words, different adjectives. The question is, ¿cómo los voy a usar, guys? What am I going to use? for each of these situations. Um, something very easy to distinguish is the following. Uh, the adjectives that go with ED, we are going to use them for people. Tired is a person. I was surprised is a person. Uh, interesting is for people. So if you take a look, all the words that normally go with ED, we use them for describing people. Uh, so if I want to talk about video games, for example, and I want to say, oh, that video game is so interesante, what would be the correct word or the correct way to talk about video games? Um, interesting or interested? What do you think? Interesting. Interesting. Exactly. So that video game was interesting. 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 Mm -hmm. What about interested? Can you give me an example using interested? Como interesante. Mm, oh, Restful. let's yes, but let's take a look at this. Ambos están bien. You can say interested, like interesante, but si se refiere a una persona que está interesado. Y di more, most likely va a ser interesado. Uh, for example, I am interested, so I am Inter interested I am in, interred in Bill. So if you take a look, cambiamos la idea. I am interested in, so yo estoy interesada o interesado in something. ¿Qué sucede si yo le pongo, or if I say, oh, I am interested in? Oh, that's different. Guys, ¿qué quiero decir? What do you want to say with this? I am interested in. Interesado. Mm, no really. Ajá, que yo no. soy interesante. Que yo soy yo interesante. Exactly. Oh, I am a very interesting person. That is the difference. So interesting is I'm part of very, head I'm much very I'm working for a day in, in Carpenter. Uh, I'm not sure si el ejemplo es con este, uh, with I am interested, or interesting. Or write it down and we discuss it, no problem. So, uh, one more time. Utilizamos para personas los que van con ed, the ones that go with ed. If I want to say, for example, ay, teacher, I don't know, tengo reunión, I have a meeting, y estoy aburrido. How would you say estoy aburrido? I'm boring. Oh, I'm boring. baby, careful, be careful, because hay una gran diferencia entre I am boring and I am bored. Mm. So if I want to say, estoy aburrida porque tengo una reunión desde hace tres horas, right? Four hours, five hours. So what can oh. you use? I am boring or I am bored. Soy aburrido. I am bored. I oh, am man. bored. I am bored means mm -hmm. estoy aburrido. I am bored because I have been sitting all day long. I am bored because 
I am super tired. I need to do exercise. I'm boring. But si usted dice, I am boring, com cambió totalmente, guys. What's this? I am bored. I bore it. Bore it. Uh -huh, but if you say I am boring, ¿qué significa, guys? What does it mean? Que soy una persona aburrida. 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 Correct, correct. Ay, qué aburrido. Pero usted, you know, your personality. <laughs> exactly. So be careful because Ella I am boring. Aburrida, I am boring means yo soy aburrida. I am boring means estoy aburrida because a me because of a meeting, because of a lecture, because I am super is tired. Is it the terrifying? Terrifying. Boring. Terrifying. Mm, escríbamelo por favor, write it down, let me take a look. Because creo que estamos ter, mezclando ter, otras palabras. I think that ter, we are... Boring. Ter, yeah. boring. Pero estamos mezclando other words. Escríbamelo por favor, write it down, I, I'll take a look. Um, so, guys, let's just be careful and let's go over this super quick. So, si voy a utilizar, if I'm going to use uh, words to describe, for example, a party, right? So, normalmente yo utilizo las que van con ing. That is the rule. Objects, activities, I'm going to use ing. And for a person, I am going to use ed. Si me refiero a, um, you know, the, the, the personality, uh, if I'm talking about the way I feel at the moment. So, if I want to say like, oh, la, la, la fiesta, you know, um, is, I don't know. What other words come to your mind? Uh, for example, I can use the party is bored or is boring. What do you think would be okay? It's boring. It's boring. boring. Exactly. So, because ED for lo general es para personas. So, guys, let's take a look at this one. Here we have a couple of ideas, a couple of sentences, and I need your help. Choosing the best adjective to describe the situation. You have Carol thought she saw a ghost. Her hands were shaking. Uh, how do you think that Carol feels? Surprising, tired, boring, disgusting, terrified, or interesting? Si quiero describir a Carol, eh, como oh, digamos así, teacher. terrified. Teacher. Dígame, tell me. Eh, digamos, Marlene Tron. She say I go and Harry will check in. Okay. Uh, so you are reading number one, right? One. Está leyendo number one. You're reading number one. One. Okay. She, uh, she Marilyn Trump, she check a grow and Harry will check in. Shaking. Checking. Shake. Shake. Like shaking. Exactly. That is correct. So her hands are shaking. So, guys, um, so in this case, so um, exactly. So, in this case, she feels terrified, right? So, como con miedo, so that she feels terrified so let's take a look at the next one the documentary last night was great i learned so much about african animals now interesting oh interesting, interesting. exactly the documentary was great all right sounds good what about number three john fell asleep at the back of the class his teacher's voice was dull and made me, wait, made John very tired. What is this? Disgusting. Mm, oh, but, but disgusting is an adjective bien fuerte. Because if you say, your voice is so disgusting, it's como gross. <laughs> uh -huh, like, oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, it's bien fuerte. The adjective is super, super strong. Because disgusting is como que me molesta, you know? Que me parece desagradable, me causa repulsión. So I would say it's very strong. But it says, John fell asleep at the back of the class. His teacher voice was dull 
Dull is mm. live. Tired. And made John very tired. Mm, look at this. The teacher's boys was dull. Es que si les digo que es dull, ya la adivinaron. It could be surprised. Boring. 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 Exactly. That is boring. The Ooh. class was boring. Guys, no sé si les ha pasado. I don't know if this has happened to you. Pero hay personas que tienen Dice una voz teriosa. muy tranquila. You know? So, nos adormecen. You know? In a very nice way. <laughs> so, that is dull. Exactly. Dull es como... Demasiado tranquila, la like aburrida. Uh -huh. Yeah, dull, yeah, kinda, kinda. So yeah, that kinda. is dull. Okay, number four. It's a miracle. I expected to lose my job today. Oh my okay. God. Surprising. 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 Guys, les ha pasado. It's a miracle. Oh my God. Creí que me iban a despedir. I thought I was going to lose my job, but they gave me a promotion. No, right. Probably not. Number five. The cat opened uh, one eye Tired. and then fell asleep again under the table. Tired. 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 Ah, that's tired. tired. The cat was tired. tired. Exactly. Very nice. And the last one, uh, Lindsay took the pizza out of the fridge. It was old and the chip uh, and the cheese on top was green. Disgusting. Uh, that is disgusting. Exactly. So that is disgusting. Okay, guys. So we have these words. All right. And uh, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. And give me one moment. I want you to help me with this. So we have surprising. Now I want you to use surprised. Okay. So you can say like, I was surprised about. I felt surprised about. I want you to use tiring. Okay. Tired is una persona, right? Oh, I feel tired. I am tired. But tiring is an activity. So, what is an activity, guys, that for you is tiring? Work. Okay, so working. Okay, working is tiring. All right. Aparte de trabajar. Exercise. Oh, Wrong. yes. Like running is tiring. Doing Boring. exercise is tiring. tiring. Playing. Tiring. Yeah. Playing is tiring. It's it's tiring. Disgusted. Okay, give me one moment. We have terrifying. Again, terrified is for a person, but terrifying is an activity. I look at cause the miedo, right? Like watching, I don't know, walking at night is terrifying. Go bridge. Go to the cemetery. Mauricio? Go bridge. Go to the cemetery. Oh, going to the cemetery. Yeah, that is terrifying, definitely. So, uh, with interested, it is very common that you use expressions like, I am very interested, interested about. Uh, disgusted, I was disgust, disgusted about. Uh, so, surprised, I was surprised about so it is very common that we use it that way guys i will give you five minutes can you please write a uh, one example for each of these words surprised tiring bored disgusted terrifying and interested five minutes people you can write them in the chat and i'll be happy to take a look at them how are you enrique i haven't heard your voice today <laughs> you are very quiet are you good Yes, I good. Solo que vine tarde, quizás por eso. Oh, okay. No, you know what? Creo que no le había escuchado ayer. I think I didn't listen to you yesterday. That's why I was like, wait, no lo he escuchado. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear you. No worries. Thank you for joining. I'm missing somebody. To pray. I am very intelligent uh, today. Mm -hmm. 
Three more minutes, guys. Questions, guys? Do you have any question, any doubt, or are we okay? Are we good so far? Teacher, what is tearing? Um, the second, this one? Yes. Okay, so this is uh, the same as this. So you have tired. And so. Yes, but, but, but we use it different because tired is para una persona. Oh, I am so tired. I feel so tired. But tiring is for an activity. Like, for example, um, I don't know, lavar mucha ropa <laughs> to wash all <laughs> my family's clothes is so tiring. <laughs> okay. okay. Or when you describe also like, oh, ahora tuve un día muy pesado, 
o mi día fue muy cansado. So you can say, I have a very tiring day. So you can also use tiring, right, to describe all those activities, pero no para personas. A menos okay. que sea alguien como muy cansón. <laughs> Unless you are like, oh, that person is so tiring. <laughs> O habla mucho de so tiring, probably, but <laughs> yeah. That would be the one. Okay, guys, can you give me an example with surprised? What do you have with surprised? I was surprised with you, see you. I, me too. <laughs> now that's a good example. I hope so. I was surprised. Okay, that's a very good one. Okay, uh, Imelda says, Imelda, how is your voice? I'm sorry too. Uh, it's a little better, but, but not is uh, totally uh, well. It's not a hundred percent yet. No, but, pero ya sé. No. Your voice sounds a little clearer than yesterday. Are you? Yes, yes a little. But, but still, you know, are you having a doctor's leave? Like an incapacidad? Uh, Do you have a doctor's leave? Yes, but I from from, from my house, so. <coughs> sorry. So uh, no I, I continue working no. in my house. <laughs> but do you speak? No, for oh. the moment, no. Okay, okay. For the moment, sorry. Yeah, so you need to, to give some rest to your voice. Oh, yeah. But I hope you get better. Thank you for your example. So she Thank says, you. when she told me the news, I was very surprised. Okay, that sounds all right. Um, Felix, Enrique, what do you have with surprised? Um, okay. Dustin friends make a secret party for him. Dustin are very surprised. Oh, very good. Okay, so he was very surprised. Very nice. And the tiring, Margarita, what do you have with tiring? Aún no lo he hecho, teacher, porque estoy con un problema de mi computadora. Oh, okay. No worries, miss. No worries. Uh, so, but si tiene la idea, le ayudamos a hacerla. We can help you. Thank you, Delmi. What do you have for tiring? I don't for me is, is tiring. <laughs> okay. I love ironing. I don't like washing. <laughs> okay, so washing for me is tiring. I love your example, very nice. Okay, my sister was surprised with oh. the gender of the baby. Wow, okay, uh, very nice, Judy. Sounds good. Tiring, guys, probably this can be the new word. Rafael, what do you have with tiring? The gym is very boring without music. Oh, okay. Teacher, I am tired of a lot of work. Uh, okay. So can you repeat it? Let me get it correct. I am tired mm -hmm. of a lot of work. I like that example. Solo un pequeño cambio here. Porque como es yo estoy cansada, that would be I am tired of, you know, the overwork. Mm -hmm. Overwork. I go, I go to, go to Guatemala to Esquipula. Ok. Pero creo que me faltó el adjetivo. I think I'm missing the adjective. That is the one we are trying to use. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Incluyámoslo. Yes, so, and I don't know. And it was terrifying or it was um so interesting i don't know we can include more words so uh, margarita let me just get this straight so okay. tiring está bien but in this case como quiero decir que yo estoy cansada that would be i am tired i si am quiero, tired yes si quiero decir mi trabajo es super cansadísimo in that case si podemos decir my job is tiring. 
ejemplo, mi empleo es agotador. My job is tiring, right? O okay. para las personas que manejan mucho tiempo, so probably, I don't know, driving is tiring, right? So manejar, conducir for a long period of time, that's super tiring. It's oh, agotador. Um, anything else with tiring? To sleep. <laughs> Okay, very interesting. To sleep is so tiring, Mauricio says. <laughs> okay, all right. Sounds okay. Sounds good. Okay, right. yes. Uh, on the weekend, I will read water matters. It's so tiring. Oh, it's so tiring. Okay, so reading is so tiring. Okay, that makes that sounds good. Traveling by bus is tiring. Yes, I agree on that. Okay, now guys, let's jump to disgusted, all right? Because disgusting es algo que es muy desagradable, but disgusted es cuando usted tiene el sentimiento, uh, you know, that algo se siente disgustado. I am disgusted, me siento like, eh, you know. So I am disgusted or I feel disgusted, you know, uh, our Congress are disgusted. Uh, como sería un congreso that would be disgusting con ian, ¿eh? so disgusting normally lo usamos como like here I am But disgusted it, 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 it's about the persons no oh let me let me read it let me read it again so our congress um, se refiere al congreso como o se refiere a los diputados yes Oh, okay. That's all right. That's good. Solo le agregamos congressman. Le agregamos men al final and that's good. So, congressman. Because mm -hmm. congress is como el, el congreso. Uh -huh. So, congressman. Sounds good. I like that one. Gabby, do you have an example for us with disgusted or terrifying? I am disgusted of nachos. About nachos? No, I just yes. right but <laughs> just for a, just for a specific period because when I started university, I I, I used to eat a lot of nachos, so I get disgusted of it. Well, but where, now I just a little passing it. No, it's okay. Where, where did you go? Or uh, where, where do you study? Universidad del Salvador. Oh, so you used to go to Reforma. Am I correct? Uh, no, no, in front of the my my facultad, they used to sell uh, nachos when I started. Wait, wait, I'm trying to think where. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. right in the, in the exit. Oh, because I I don't know. I kind of relate nachos to movies, so I thought that uh, you used to go no. to the movies to eat nachos. No, actually, <laughs> I just went to Reforma once. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I just went only once, too, when I was studying there. So, yeah, that was all right. Uh, let me see. Listen to loud music. Music is disgusting. Yes, Francisco, I agree on that. Well, it depends. Guys, what do you think about this? Uh, Francisco says, listening to music is disgusting. Well, for him, he says. But what do you think? Is it disgusting depends for you? of the kind of music. Okay, it depends on the kind of music. Different. Okay, yes. it depends on what? Guys, it, the louder the when music. When I don't like sleep. Uh -huh. Ah, when you don't sleep well, okay. In my case, the louder the music is, the better I clean. <laughs> Does it happen to you? Of course. No, guys. <laughs> I need to play music super loud when I am cleaning my house <laughs> or I or I feel like uh, it don't, don't work. Do uh -huh. Yeah, so okay. Listening to loud music is disgusting. Sorry, Francisco, I don't share the same idea. I don't agree on this. Well, but but probably they are right. They say when you haven't slept well or when you have an exam or when you are super stressed out. Probably, yeah, that would be the one. Ruben says, I'm, a, I'm worried. Oh, I am very worried because I didn't reach the monthly goal last month. Uh, Ruben, is that an example or is that for real? It's an example, teacher. Oh, okay. 
tell us, Ruben, give us more examples. <laughs> what else do you have? Uh, let me see. Uh, on top, I saw that some of you have sent your examples. Um, so I have uh, Gavis. Uh, it says, I was very surprised when I knew that people buy slices, sliced. What do you mean? The slices of banana? Uh, yeah, the banana just slices in a bag. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Uh, so you, re right. you remove the skin? No, no. Yeah, just just slice the banana in a bag. Seal in a, in in a bag. bag. In I a, think it's really like mango. Yes, but it slices banana. With lemon and something? No, just slices, slices banana. Just that. Okay, I'm surprised now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. I didn't know because I would normally go and buy a banana, you know, so with the skin. Wow. Okay. Badminton is tiring. Oh, and boring, I have to say. Korean <laughs> teens. And if Enrique? Eso es de Corea. Eh, badminton. No, no, le, de lo que dice Gaby, de, de que banana. parten la banana. Yeah, la en teacher. Corea hacen eso. What? Ya las venden así partidas. But yeah, but... you say too. <laughs> okay. Sure. Wait. Yeah. Ya yeah, mandé. yeah, I'm checking them. I'm checking them now. Wait, solo estoy en shock todavía. <laughs> I am oh. still in shock because I didn't know that. Uh, well, entiendo que Corea porque la fruta es cara. So I understand that fruits and vegetables son extremadamente caros, you know. But in El Salvador, guys, <laughs> I mean, uh -huh, so. no, I wasn't in El Salvador. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, Probably that's why. <laughs> okay, esa dieta trabaja ella. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby, I love your example, but I guess uh, it's only an example. My mom is bored of me and my brother because she says that we had a stubborn. And this was, oh, okay, I read that one. Sounds good. Uh, upset about not participating in the tournament. Oh, okay, okay. Sounds already. Guys, uh, terrifying. Do you have an example using terrifying? First of all, what is the meaning of terrifying? What do you understand by terrifying? Try to kill insects when they fly and it's very terrifying. Okay. Yeah. The, you feel scared, a little bit afraid. Mm -hmm. Think only about failure is terrifying. Oh, okay. Even disgusting too, teacher. Yes, I agree on that. Especially when you see cockroaches. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice oyente? Yo siempre digo que usted lo dice, pero no lo entiendo. Oyente. Cuando dice que alguien va a estar de oyente. En oh, inglés, ¿cómo? A listener. Listener. Yes, the listen, oh. listen, listener. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. That's a listener. Okay, so terrifying. Guys, what is terrifying for you? <laughs> for me, it's simple. Terrorífico. <laughs> what? Terrorífico. <laughs> when I was a kid, I think that. That terrifier was terrorific. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's more like, more like, yeah, I mean, yes, but it's in the sense of a scary, right? Something that is yeah, scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yes. Ahí le mandé. Okay, I'll take a look at that one. Oh, okay, Chucky movie. So Chucky movie is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Podemos usar terrifying for that one. You can use terrifying there. Okay. And the last one, guys, we have interested. Guys, what are you interested in? Reading books are very interesting. Okay, so that, okay, I am interested about, all right. Guys, uh, solo a little something here. Después de about, la siguiente palabra siempre, si es un verbo, va a ser ing. Like, for example, I am very interested or I am interested about uh, learning. 
I am interested about studying. I am interested about traveling. I am interested about uh, finishing my career. So always after about, after in, si tenemos otro verbo, this has to be ing. So that is a rule que luego la van a, la van a revisar con gerunds and infinitives. So um, you're interested about finishing probably your university, studying English, any other thing? Or you think? ¿En qué son interesados, guys? What calls your attention? I'm very about eating uh, movies or study or play story. Story. Studying. Story channel. Okay, so I'm very interested about uh, watching a story channel. A channel. Probably. Okay, so watching story watching. channel. No, that's channel. history channel. So history watching channel. History channel. Okay, that's all right. Uh, so, siempre utilizamos ING, so please uh, keep this in mind. Okay, guys, so we're going to move on a little bit. Uh, we are going to have this because there are more adjectives. So we're going to continue with this part in a couple of seconds. But now, give me one moment. Let me just move on here. And, uh, do, 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 do. okay. And guys, we are going to talk about the following part. Um, yesterday and the day before, we were using or we were asking about patients. Give me one moment. I'm going to stop presenting here. Guys, um, have you ever been asked something that is super impolite? Have you ever had, I don't know, like a friend or a person you know who has asked impolite questions or indiscreet questions? But only question teacher or comments too? No, questions, only questions. When they approach you and they ask you questions, no, because comments siempre. <laughs> we will always get uh, uh, impolite comments. Guys, what are some impolite questions that people ask? In my case, they ask me and I hate it. Um, when are you going to get married? Marry. Oh, I hate yeah, that. Awesome. I hate that question too. You can say tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, no, because, I mean, my mom learned and she doesn't ask that question. <laughs> but I hate when my neighbors say, like, I, Julita, you're old. <laughs> when are you going to get married? I'm like, really? <laughs> okay, guys, what are the questions that are a little impolite for you? Teacher, how much case, do you earn? Oh, this, yeah. Teacher. Yeah, how much? Yes. Teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Do you earn? Mm -hmm. What is your mom's name? Uh -huh. What's your mom's name? ¿Cuál es el nombre de su mamá? What's your mom's name? Julia. Oh, but I don't I don't like Julia. <laughs> Please call me Julie. <laughs> ah, I, I Julia. don't like Julia. Julie. Me como una señora, guys. <laughs> Julie. I mean, sí, estoy mayor, but not much. Okay. Julie. <laughs> How much do you earn? Uh, what other questions are a little polite for you? Teacher, in my mm -hmm. case, yeah, it's a uh, very impolite. Impolite is como descortés. Descortés, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. In my case, um, maybe not ask the typical questions. Uh, for example, um, we had some problems in our teeth with my sister. And okay. even we have the same problems in the in front of teeth. Okay. Uh, teeth is singular, right? Teeth. Or is no. Teeth. No, tooth. No, wait. Teeth. Teeth. Yeah. Okay. Porque la otra palabra es otra cosa. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, for, uh, I'm, I mean, tooth or teeth? Tooth is one. Teeth one. Oh, okay. is all of them. Ah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh, so we have uh, the same problem and then in front of teeth mm -hmm. and um, is a partner from the school mm -hmm. um, told us at the same time. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, and, and she uh, told to, and she, she's screaming in the high school. Okay. And she said, hey, you already noticed that uh, they have the same problem in their teeth? Oh, <laughs> that, that was a very rude comment. Yeah. That was a yeah. very rude comment, okay. Well, but that would be common. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, it was a question for everyone, and but it was a comment for my sister mm -hmm. and I. But it was very rude. I mean, yeah, yeah, but that happens. Okay, but now, guys, uh, what about now that you're working, that you have to, I don't know, you're working or you're studying? So, what are some other impolite questions that people or rude questions they have asked you? I hate when, when I um, people ask me about my weight. <laughs> oh, your weight. Okay, how yes. much do you weight? Yes. Or when they tell you, right, they, they give you this comment. Oh, yes. That's yes. <laughs> ah, yes. a super important <laughs> it's like I, comment. It's like oh, I have my. a mirror. <laughs> I can <laughs> see you all the day. Okay, I agree on that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> tell me, just tell me. Impolite or rude? Why are you so, so fat? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel so identified with this. <laughs> yeah, it's like, really? <laughs> okay. Guys, what other questions? Boys, what about you, boys? Nunca yeah, les pregunta nada also. impolite. Miss, when the people... Yes, yes. Save y todo eso te vas a comer. <laughs> Are you Oye, going Mauricio. to eat it all? No, Andrea, Mauricio, ¿qué onda? <laughs> Le preguntan eso, Andrea. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Uh, Mauricio says that yes, and I think Rafael has a, a, a question there. Go, guys. Boys, please, no se sientan intimidados. Say it. Teacher, sometimes yeah. uh, when I question, why do you lie so far? Why? In my work, for example. Why do you? Live oh. so far. Oh. Oh. Really? <laughs> okay. Where do you live, Rafael? What do you in, in my work? Uh, bueno, mis compañeros la mayoría viven cerca. Yo vivo oh. un poquito más retirado. ¿Por qué vives tan lejos? Because that's my house. You know? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, any other question that can be a little rude? Uh, I have a, a little situation. Uh, oh, I, okay. Uh, <laughs> they made me the question. Let's do it. Let's you do are, it. You are, you are, you are Salvadorian? Mm -hmm. Because I am tall. And, um, how do you say Moreno? Dark skin. Dark skin? Yes, I'm Salvadorian. Yes, and I, I'm tall. <laughs> but always the... Ah, are you tall? Yes. What's your height? One point, what point? Eh, one eighty. Yeah. Ah, one eighty. One eighty. Yeah. Hey, nice. <laughs> es que es que guys understand us. En la cámara nos vemos diferentes, <laughs> so we have no idea if you are tall, if you're short. Ah, okay. So that's a very good question. So are you Salvadorian? Wow. Yeah, because um. Nuestra altura, the average height in El Salvador is 160, 165, right? 165 uh -huh. for, for, for men. men. No, oh. for women. Oh, for I'm super and short. <laughs> 170 and for men? 170, 170 for men. Uh -huh. So we are not very tall. Wow, but nice. <laughs> really good. Really good that you're tall. Okay. Uh, so that is one question. Are you Salvadorian? Uh, ¿Qué más, Miss? You said that you had a few questions. 
the other one was uh well will the, you the new, stay get, when you get married <laughs> um yes <laughs> when you get married uh-huh uh the other one um how well how old are you oh okay okay nobody had said that before <laughs> so how old are you okay guys do you feel offended or do you think this is a rude question for, for me, boys yeah, okay. uh -huh. sometimes depends the tone <laughs> oh it depends on the tone okay yes. guys oh, what about the rest it be about the person teacher because oh. for example um uh, yeah, it's a it's a kind of complicated thing because mm -hmm. in the all or social uh, sociedad. So, <laughs> so, so, yes, uh, right now so sa so so sa yeah society society yeah mm -hmm. in all or society uh, that kind of theme about the age mm -hmm. it's about a root theme but it's not it's only about maybe a about the tone of voice that you use it because maybe for example in my case i will i, I will have to know it's not it's not a something that a maybe could be no i have to know what is the age of the person oh and okay for, because that give me uh, some points of view about maybe the personality or maybe the kind of thing that i can talk to you oh uh, Okay. So for me, it's kind of uh, indispensable. So it is necessary. It is necessary. Yeah. Or or you can use the word, it is a must. So it is a must. A must. Yes, it is a must -E means it is mandatory. Yes, this one, M-U-S-T. Okay, so Belen says that it is necessary for her uh, to know the age. What about the rest of you? Mauricio, you said that it's okay for you. Guys, what about the rest? Do you feel offended? Margarita, do you feel offended? Enrique, Francisco? No, no? that's okay. Carlos? Um, yeah. In my case, I, I don't feel offended uh, that people ask me uh, my age, but okay. I don't like uh, when they have... Um, Com commentarios, commentary. Co comments, comments. Comment. Oh. When uh, they have a comment after that, I I say my my age because oh, I always I don't know why, but I always um I look uh, two or three years older. <laughs> oh, do you? Yes, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. But in that case, um, many times. When I say my my real age, uh -huh. uh, people said, uh, "I think you are you are older or something oh. like that." Oh, that's a rude comment. Yes, <laughs> it uh, is. Okay, that's a very rude comment. At least they could say, you know, "Oh, I thought you were younger." <laughs> so that would be a different. Uh huh. Wow. Okay. A comment. Okay. No, me don't, don't give comments on Imelda's age. <laughs> okay, but, but I think it's very common. Um, I'm asking you boys because creo que for women, this is more common, I guess, or I don't know, girls. I don't feel offended que alguien me pregunte la edad, you know, but, but first I ask, why teacher, do you want to know? <laughs> teacher, teacher, when someone... uh, ah, sorry. Uh, go Mauricio, and then I will go with Belen. And when someone told you, Doña, um, <laughs> you know, because probably because I speak English most of the days, people don't call me Doña. They <laughs> they tell me Miss, uh -huh, or, or I'm super used to Miss. I'm super used to Julie, pero señora, si me ofende, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but you know, so this is very interesting because I visited my mom some days ago. My mom has a little store. Y alguien me dijo, mira, you know, it, it, that was a little girl, pero me trató como si tuviera su edad. And I was like, I feel so young again. <laughs> so to me, it's the opposite. So creo que me veo más joven. 
think I look um, a little bit younger than I am. Yes. yes, um, yes. But but guys, so I am the simple because ya estoy en los 30 y something. Wow. <laughs> Carlos. Wow, why? Uh, why? Uh, a little bit older. Carlos, do you feel offended when people ask you your age? No. No. No? What is no, it? I don't care. Mind? You don't care. I don't okay. care. Yeah. I know that I am <laughs> older now. Uh -huh. I mean, I think that we definitely get that, but somebody said over there, a veces no es la pregunta, sometimes is the tone of voice, exactly, that feels rude. It depends rude. The, the how do you feel, because I I feel strong still. And, okay. Uh, I, I, I As is Salvadorian pollo. I, I, I woke up every day with so much energy to walk, oh. because my work is about that oh okay then maybe i I'm, i'm get tired a little bit faster than 10 years ago but but that is common and we'll get there <laughs> so yeah uh -huh. and, and, and after covid oh. i i como se dice i quedé mucho más Débil y you todo got, eso. You have, I lost uh, my, my muscle mass. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, so you, US, makes you, mm -hmm. feel, makes you feel a little bit weak. Mm -hmm. But I've been working on that with medicine, exercise, and so on. Carlos, mm -hmm. where I time? ¿Cuánto le duró? Ah, bueno, yo, yo fui de los del inicio de la, de la pandemia, yo caí en junio, estoy, hace dos años exactamente. Estuve dos meses oh. en cama, no me quise hospitalizar. Oh, two months. Sí. Wow, that was, that was super strong. So, sí. we normally call them after effects, right? Como los efectos, las secuelas, so the after effects that COVID had. Well, Gracias a Dios. Eh, lo único es eso, ¿verdad? Que sí queda uno bastante débil. Yeah. Obviamente, pues, porque como se pierde todo el músculo. Mm -hmm. That, eh, that's total, va, right? Uno se va en, en proteínas y todo eso, entonces uno queda puros huesos y lo que es masa muscular, esto se viene abajo y cuelga así como que fuera bolsitas de crema. <laughs> Okay, well, but not only your muscles, sino you know, también los pulmones, you know, so your yes. lungs are not the same. Eh, um, es que ese es el proceso, o sea, no es solo el, el problema de curarse de la enfermedad y el montón de medicamentos, porque fueron cuatro tipos de antibióticos y un montón de medicamentos para desinflamación. Wow, y, so you got it, like the, the whole thing. Le dio como la primera, right? You got sí, the first. Sí. Estaba en junio. O Ajá, sea, you got the first. Empezó como en marzo. Ok. Ajá, well, guys. Entonces, no, no, no había. Había recetas y todo eso, pero ninguna de esas en realidad a mí me funcionó. Y de repente oh. la, la doctora que me trató, pues, se equivocó cuando hizo la receta para una prednisona para los bronquios. Y no hizo muy bien el cero al final, porque tenía que ser prednisona 50 y le puso 5 y el cero lo dejó como que era G. Entonces me mandaron prednisona como para niño. Oh. No me hizo el efecto. Entonces eso hizo okay. que se me complicara. Increíble, increíble. En wow. una semana yo estaba ya así. <risa> well, but, but thank God you're good now. Yes. Thank God you are over that. And yes, guys, I know. I mean, creo que ahorita anda otra vez otra vez. No, y eso es horrible COVID porque and... después de eso hay que, hay que gastar un montón de plata en medicamentos para la recuperación porque tuve que to tomar medicamentos para recuperar masa muscular, desintoxicar hígado, limpiar y regenerar bronquios. That's o sea, right. I got COVID this year, you know, like in January. So I was like, it, it was super funny. I will tell you later the story. <laughs> it was super <laughs> funny because my sister had COVID. I had COVID 
but a mí me dio todo and my sister got nothing. <laughs> so she was like, yeah. okay. <laughs> she yeah, didn't really have sorry. any, yeah, she didn't have any symptoms. So it was super funny. But anyways, okay, guys. Um, so moving yeah. back, moving yeah. back yeah. to the equation yeah. part. Um, hay otra pregunta. Is there any other question that you consider can be a little bit rude? Miss, when mm. people ask, uh, when are you going to have a baby? I yes. <laughs> Okay, so when will you have a baby? Yes, I totally agree with you. So, or when they tell you, right, I, you're a little old, you know, you should have a baby. <laughs> so yeah, it's super impolite. Okay, guys, but you know, sometimes, even though uh, the questions are very impolite, sometimes they are too straight or the objective of a question is not to be impolite at all. They can ask you, for example, uh, what is your name? And, uh, or imagine, for example, this is the first time you see a person and you want to know the phone number. And imagine you go straight to the person and ask, hey, what's your phone number? Guys, se lo darían a alguien? Would you go straight and give your phone number to a person you don't know? Of course, but I have wrong number. Oh, okay, of course, but a wrong number. Okay. Les ha pasado? Have you ever been in this situation that a person goes straight to you and asks, uh, what's your phone number? What's your name? Never. No. What's your name? Maybe, but Maybe. number no. Okay, okay. So the thing is the following. Sometimes there is another way we can ask questions and made them a little bit more polite. So we can make these rude questions into polite questions. So questions that people, even though this is the first time I see them, they can be like, ah, vaya, pues se lo voy a dar. You know? Oh, okay. Well, me preguntó bonito, pero me preguntó si voy a tener mi hijo. Ah, okay, I'm gonna answer that. So we can make some of these a little bit more polite. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? There is something, guys, that we can use. There are some expressions that we can use in order to make these questions a little bit more uh, polite. Give me one second. Let me share this in the chat so you can have the questions. And let me present my screen to you. So part of the questions we have are the following. Uh, okay, take a look at this one. Here we have, um, we have where is the nearest bank? Where, why is that baby crying? Is there any water here? Is he coming tomorrow? How many cars does she have? How many cars do you have? Do you have a car? So in English, we can use these expressions, the ones that you see here, in order to make them super polite, right? So we are going to use these expressions Vamos a, modificar, vamos a modificarles. We are going to modify them a little bit, but vamos a ser mucho más polite. So, take a look at the first one. Can you tell me? Do you know? Could you tell me? Does she know? Do you know? Does he know? Can you explain? These are examples of uh, some words I can use or some expressions I can use in order to ask questions. Give me one second because I have some more. So here are the ones. I wonder, could you tell me? Do you know? Can you remember? Let's ask. We need to find out, or I need to find out. I would like to know. Could you tell me? I'm not sure. Would you mind explaining? I really like this one. I like, I wonder, I am wondering, and would you mind, or do you mind? So, Imagine I have this I like question. To know, but two. Which one? I'd like to know. Ah, yes, I'd like to know. That sounds actually very polite. So imagine I have, what is your name? Okay, guys, can you please ask for my name in a very polite way? Lay at. Mm -hmm, but let's ask. Uh, okay, so como le voy a hacer más polite? How can I, how am I going to make this? A little bit more polite. Take a look. Uh, I wonder, what is your name? Sounds good. Pero cuando ya tengo el inicio like this, voy a hacer un poquito de cambio. Could you tell me what is your name? Si esa es la pregunta, 
I'm going to change this. Y lo voy a poner como sujeto verbo. So, could you tell me what your name is? Oh, look at this. Much After better. Much better, more polite, more formal, all right? So, si necesitan hacer super formales with somebody and be super polite, this is the way to ask questions. Could you tell me what your name is? Yeah, so could, uh, do you know, can, uh, or for example here, I would like to know what your name is. So, or I would like you to know uh, what is your name. Could you tell me what your name is? Would you mind telling me what your name is? So the thing is, les puedo hacer mucho más polite just by changing a little bit or including these expressions. Imagine I ask you, how old are you? Okay, we said that this is super, super impolite. Si vengo en, I don't know, I ask Enrique, hey, Enrique, how old are you? <laughs> so that is super straight, you know, sin anestesia, a little bit impolite. ¿Cómo le hago más polite? How can I make it a little bit subtle? Uh, will you mind? Okay, yeah, first, voy a hacer un cambio con esto. I'm going to do a little change. No siempre, but we esa need es la forma. I, I feel how. How old are you? How old are you? Voy a cambiarlo porque necesito sujeto verbo. So, are el sujeto. You How old you are? Eso, exactly. So, are you se convierte en you are otra vez. I wonder how old you are. Could you tell me how old you are? Uh, can you remember how old you are? Okay. Would you mind explaining how old you are? So this is a very much, I don't know, I would say a polite way to ask this. So let me show you some examples and then we're going to practice asking questions. A little bit in polite questions. So um, hold on. Okay, hold on, let me just go back. Okay, take a look at this one. Rewrite the sentences without changing the meaning. Number one, where is the nearest bank? Remember, necesito sujeto verbo. Can you tell me? ¿Cómo haríamos la primera, guys? How would you do number one? First, voy a cambiar la posición de is. Can you tell to... me where the nearest bank is? Very good. Lo voy a poner hasta al final. I'm going to put it exactly at the end. Where is the nearest bank? Se convierte en where the nearest bank is. Para no confundir los guys. Not to get you lost. Not to confuse you. Esto... When you have a beginning question here, va a tomar otra vez la forma de oración, yeah? Sujeto, verbo. Uh, so, can you tell me, I'm gonna write it, so you can have that, where the nearest bank is. Can you tell me where the nearest bank is? Can you tell me where the, uh, where the ATM is? Can you tell me where the city hall is? Uh, I'm sorry, can you tell me where the bus is? So that is the way we ask questions. Okay, guys, so tenemos here one, two, three, four, five, six, six questions, okay? Help me please with the rest of them. But antes, antes que empecemos a trabajarlo, before we start working on them tomorrow, eh, tomorrow, no, right now. Dele copia a Ricardo. Una cosita más, guys. A little thingy more. Um, so, and it's related to this. Cuando tengamos una pregunta de si no, like this, is there, is he, voy a agregarle algo más. I need to include something else to my question. Y ese va a ser if. Could you tell me if? Y luego siempre cambio el orden, right? Uh, for example, here, tengo is there. ¿Cómo la cambiamos, guys? How would you change it? Is could there you, any water here is? Could you tell me? If? If there, sujeto y luego verbo. If there is any water here. So, si tenemos una pregunta de yes, no, this is the way we are going to do it. Um, but guys, solo para not to get you that lost, because probably this is a little bit confusing. Hagamos un par de ejercicios. Let's do a couple of exercises uh, instead or better. 
So imagine that I have, are you happy? Uh, do you like, guys, ayúdenme con preguntas, yes, no questions, please? Bananas. Do you like bananas? Okay, give me more questions. Did you do the homework? The homework. Are you married? Oh, I like that one better. Okay, are you married? Okay. Yes, give me one more. Questions, guys, impolite requests. Do you work the weekends? Okay, do so you work on the weekends? Okay, very good. So, we can, we, oh my God, week. Yes, there we go. Okay, super, super easy. Vamos a hacer estas primero and then we try to do the whole exercise. These, all of these are yes, no questions. So, ¿qué es lo que voy buscando, guys? What am I looking for? Number one, volver otra vez a la forma de sujeto, subject plus verb. Y como son yes, no question, le voy a tener que incluir if. Okay? So, you can use I am wondering, you can use I would like to know, you can use um, so I was wondering, I'm going to use this one, I was wondering, me estaba preguntando, so number one guys, are you happy? ¿Cómo preguntarían esta? How would you ask this one? If are you happy? I was wondering if you, you are happy. Happy, exactly, there you go. I was wondering if you're happy. Me preguntaba si eres feliz, you know? So, en una forma super no directa, I am asking this question. Um, can you tell me, can you tell me, can you help me with number two? Do you like bananas? If. If, si se fijan, tengo sujeto verbo. That means, ya no necesito do. I don't need do do. Like bananas. Mm -hmm. So I don't need do anymore. I don't need do anymore. So can you tell me if you like bananas? Okay, very good. Enrique, number three, are you married? ¿Cómo le pregunto esto de forma más cortés? Can you tell me if you married? Can you tell me if you married? Mm, yes. Are married. yes, 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 yes. Are married. Excellent. Can you tell me if you're married? En vez de preguntarle, hey, Enrique, are you married? <laughs> so, can you tell me if you're married? Right? So, a little bit more polite. The last one, do you work on the weekends? What, what would be the last one, guys? Can anybody help me? I was wondering if you work on the weekends. Very good. So if you work on the weekends, da, 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 da. exactly. There we go. Very good. So just no questions. I así les vamos a agregar if. That is going to be a rule for them. Now, guys, I'm going to give you five minutes so you can help me with these questions right here. All right. So five minutes, guys. Completamos las preguntas. Try to make them super polite, and then uh, we compare.
Let me know when you finish, guys, please. Mm
Okay, guys, uh, do you need more time or what are you ready? Can we check together? Okay. All right, thank you for the confirmation. Uh, Andrea, you ready? Angelica, Margarita, Delmi, girls, boys, Arnoldo, are you ready, guys? Or do you need more time? Oh, okay, very nice. So I see that some of you have already uh, written them in the chat. Okay, okay, very nice. So let's take a look at what we got there. So number one, is, thank you, Gabby. That sounds really nice. So number one says, uh, can you tell me where the nearest bank is, right? So cambiamos un poquito la posición de bird to be to the end. Number two, who's got number two, guys? Do you know? Uh, Andre, what do you have in number two? Only you told me. Miss, I don't understand this topic. Oh, okay, okay, no worries. So, um, oh, I'm sorry, I mean, no, no, no. Uh, no worries, you are fine. You know why, why that little baby crying is mm -hmm. okay. Um, guys, creo que nos, nos, uh, I think we have probably mistaken that part. Give me one moment, let me see if I can present my screen here. Hold on, okay. So, let's take a look at the second one. Um, it says, why is that little baby crying? Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, first, antes de iniciar con la pregunta, uh, para hacer una pregunta formal, you know, necesitamos estructura específica. So, en una pregunta, esto está bien. Why is that little baby uh, crying? Pero acá, if you take a look, ya tengo do you know. Entonces ya tengo la estructura de pregunta. Do you know? So, esta segunda parte tengo que cambiarla. I need to transform it. I need to modify it. Y como ya no necesito que sea pregunta, um, algunas personas dicen, do you know why is that little baby crying? Y está bien. Se entiende, right? We understand. Pero gramaticalmente, you know, uh, for grammatical purposes, si queremos escribirlo formalmente, this wouldn't be okay. Entonces, ¿qué hacemos? Necesito llevar esta, solo esta segunda parte, a la siguiente estructura. Necesito tener sujeto, verbo como una oración, you know. Y obviamente necesito el WH o el IF, eso no lo voy a cambiar. So... Hagámoslo más fácil. Let's do it a little bit easier here. Tengo el WH. So I got it here. Y este, if you pay attention, tengo is. Y luego tengo, hold on, ya borro un pedazo. And then I have something like this. So is that a little baby uh, crying? Entonces tengo esto al revés. ¿Qué voy a hacer, guys? Lo quito. I'm going to delete it. Y voy a dejar sujeto, that little baby, luego el verbo be, crying. No sé si um, this can be a little bit confusing. Solamente guiémonos por esto. Just let's try to follow this. Sujeto, verbo y eso es todo. Solo cambiamos para tener una oración normal. So the question would be, do you know why that little baby is crying? Um, again, si tienen, do you know why? Is that little baby crying? Si se entiende, no es que no se entienda. We definitely get it. Pero gramaticalmente, again, necesitamos llevarla a forma o a estructura de, you know, pregunta. Um, so, Andrea, no sé si this can be um, a little bit confusing. O, o cuál es el, el cambio? What is the part that, that is getting confusing for you? Eh. Entiendo un poquito más, ya un poco más claro. La conversión, probably that's mm -hmm. the part. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, we're gonna go over the second one and, and then you help me out. Guys, ayúdenme con la tercera. It says, could you tell me? So, 
So you tell me. Esa es una pregunta de si, no. ¿Qué le agrego a la if. pregunta? De, ajá, if. if. Y tengo is there. Pero necesito no. llevarla. Necesito cambiarlo. There is. There is. Perfect. That's it. Could you tell me if there is any water here? That's it. Now, what about the next one? Does she know? Does she know? Is he if. coming tomorrow? If. Sujeto. There. Wait. It's gone. Okay. Does she know? If. Uh, I got this one, right? Does she know if. ¿Quién es el sujeto, guys? Who is the subject? Subject, verb, complement. He. 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 Yeah. Is. Coming, coming tomorrow. tomorrow. Coming tomorrow. Exactly. Does she know if he's coming tomorrow? So, no es una pregunta de, is he coming tomorrow? Sino, ¿sabe ella si él va a venir? Does she know if he's coming tomorrow? But again, si yo pregunto, does she know if, if is he coming tomorrow? Suena súper raro. Def definitely, that would sound super super weird. Okay, next one. How many cars does she have? Do you know? Do you know how many, no lo voy a cambiar, how many cars? Necesito she does. She has? Yes. She has. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Do you know how many cars she has? Exactly. And that's it. That's it. I cambié el verbo, sorry. Does she have? Um, she has, no necesito does, because es una oración yeah, normal. Have. That would be a normal one. Does Next. she have one? Next one, guys. Does he know if if they like swimming? Perfect, perfect. There we go. Does she know? Does he know if they like swimming? Very good. And let's go for the last one. Can you explain? Can you explain what she wants? Want. Want. Ah, pero hay algo más acá. Como es tercera persona, le voy a agregar S. Ok. Can you explain what she wants? Ok. Sería, sonaría súper raro si digo, can you explain what does she want? Pero, you know, it can happen. Sí se entiende. So we definitely get it. But si hablamos de escritura, you know, talking about grammar, this is the structure. Guys, vamos a continuar con este tema because it's kind of extensive tomorrow. Vamos a practicarlo en spoken English. But first, quería, uh, you know, desahogar un, por, un poquito la parte de grammar. So, if, um, les voy a mandar un ejercicio. I'm going to send one exercise tomorrow para que lo puedan completar, you know, y podamos practicar before uh, coming to classes. And uh, so, guys, antes de irnos, solamente me ayudan con su camarita un momento. And um, let me go over attendance, please. And give me verbal confirmation that you're here. So give me just a moment. I got uh, Andrea, you're the first. So Andrea. Here, Miss. Amazing, thank you so much. Uh, Belen. Oh, Belen is a, uh, a listener, I think. Okay. So Carlos, Mr. Avendaño. Here, teacher. I like your last name, you know, it's very common. Tell me. <laughs> Out of town. That's a very cool last name. Uh, Enrique. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Present. Thank you, Helen. Present. Nice. Imelda. Well, Imelda is there. Uh, Iris. I uh, thank you. Iris me so far. She was missing. Arnoldo. Present. Thank you. Ricardo. Kenya, thank you. Oh, she's not here. Angelica. Present. Gaby. Present. Sí. Rafael. Present. Thank you. Margarita. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ruben. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Judy. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. And Mauricio. Present teacher. 
Thank you so much. Already, guys, uh, thanks a lot for being here. Um, les voy a enviar el exercise tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, just watch it, please. Check the exercise, and we will discuss it tomorrow. Mauricio, si me regalo un par de minutos, that would be amazing. And guys, have a beautiful night. Bye, everybody. See you too, Marito. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, 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 guys. Everybody. See, see you. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams are made of this. Hi. Hi, Mauricio. Thank you so much for joining. Hi, teacher. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. All right. So I'm just going to steal a couple of minutes for the one-on-one -on -one session. Uh, well, normally the one-on-one -on -one session, we use it like to go over you know a couple of topics that can be a little confusing or if you have any specific questions so normally eh, we use it for those things um pero quiero aprovechar you know antes de, de revisar esa parte eh, agradeciéndole you know por estar acá creo que no me ha faltado ningún día o so siempre está you know con la cámara on participando and metiéndole feeling you know porque sé que la noche es bastante difícil you are you know tired and everything so it is super nice um Y se nota las ganas que tiene, you know, de, de, de aprender, de dominar el idioma. Y se comunica súper bien. So I think that um, your vocabulary is quite nice. So your ideas, normally you communicate them uh, in a very clear way. You have very good um, grammar management. So that sounds really good. Um, ¿Qué siente que le cuesta ahorita? What do you think is... Um, I don't know, siempre llega un momento en el que sentimos que vamos ya como para atrás o que no avanzo or something. ¿Hay algo que le esté costando at the moment? Mm, quizás, maybe uh, vocalizar, ¿cómo se dice vocalizar? ¿Pero en qué sentido? ¿Como en entonación, en ritmo o en pronunciación? Like, you, ¿Are you having any issues with pronunciation? ¿O está teniendo dificultades en, la, en el ritmo del idioma? Tal vez en, en más en el ritmo, que tal vez yo okay. siento que no, en pronunciación. Ok, ok, sounds good. So let's do a little exercise. Um, you know, todos los idiomas tienen como su ritmo, right? Because si habla español, por ejemplo, y si va a Guatemala, es el mismo idioma, pero el ritmo, el cantito que tenemos es diferente. English is exactly the same. Canto, yo sí. Nosotros, de hecho, tenemos, sí tenemos como un, un, well, I would say salvadorian, no tenemos algo como súper pegado, una letra bien fosilizada, uh, like uh, Spanish people or Argentinian people, people from Argentina, right? But, pero aún así tenemos cierto acentito. Entonces vamos a practicar un poquito la parte de intonation. So intonation se refiere a cómo voy a sonar, the way I'm going to sound. So for example, um, but if I ask you, what, do, what did you do in the afternoon? What did you do in the afternoon? Cuénteme un poquito de qué hizo, just to, to listen to your uh, rhythm. Está en silencio, you're mute. <laughs> so you're mute there. Sorry, sorry. No worries, that's okay. I delivered papers today. Okay, so you delivered papers. Uh, give me more, give me more information. Because I, I work in, in logistic department mm -hmm. and for a cheaper company. Okay. And we have a errors in a document and okay. uh, a, a co-worker to San Salvador sent me an email mm -hmm. with the document uh, correct mm -hmm. and I had to deliver the paper to the authority mm -hmm. in, in the where I say that Okay. Uh, so port? In the port. 
Okay. Oh, already, already. Uh, so just a, a couple of things. Primero, eh, tiene una muletilla por ahí, which is okay, it's fine, pero se le escucha bastante fuerte el español. So, este es el A o E, una de las dos. <laughs> so, one of them. So, uh, intentemos first, eh, vamos a intentar cambiar. One, one thing, uh, o cambiamos eso para que suene más suavecito. El americano es A, uh, A. Uh. Nuestro salvadoreño es E, eh, yeah. So, you can say eh, pero que tienes que sonar como muy suave, like very soft. Hagamos el cambio para o, uh, o, uh, o cambiémoslo para so, well, or you know, right? So, um, intente contarme one more time. So, try to tell me the same thing one more time. But, ahora, necesito que se escuche. I need you to listen to yourself. Y siempre que quiera decir a, uh, or e, eh, cámbialo por un a. Uh, Mm, or so well, you know. Okay. Ajá, y hágalo más rápido. Hágalo, perdón, más, más alargado. A little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Okay, today. So what did you do today? Uh -huh. Today in the, in the afternoon, I was delivered papers to um, the eh? court. Okay. Because... I, I work in a logistic department for a shipper company okay. and we delivered the, the papers previously yesterday, but have uh, errors. Okay. And a, co a co-workers to San Salvador sent me the paper correct and was delivered to the, the office in the port. Okay, very nice. That sounds much better. Le escuché menos la muletilla, which is amazing. But no es que no la tenga que decir. You can definitely use it. Solo que para cambiarle un poquito el ritmo, hagámoslo más americano, right? It's como, oh, oh. So it's más, más acá, más de la garganta. That is uh, one of the things. Second, vamos a hacer un, po un poquito de estrés en algunas, en algunas palabras para que nuestra voz cambie. Normally, when we're talking, eh, si yo le empiezo a contar, ahora en la tarde tuve una reunión, después de la reunión eh, me puse a cocinar, me puse a lavar trastes. ¿Qué escucha en mi voz? What do you listen to, to my voice? ¿Qué lo iré a identificar? ¿O qué es la idea que le da a mi voz? A, a switch. Yeah, yeah. But, but si le cuento así, or, ok, or if I tell you. So today afternoon, I had a meeting in the afternoon. I went to the supermarket and after the supermarket, um, I came to my house. I washed the dishes and that's it. ¿Qué escucha en mi voz? ¿Qué, le, qué sensación le causa a mi voz? Como que estuvo aburrido. Como que no ah, le pone emoción. Ah, ok, exactly. Entonces, el español, al igual que el inglés, Cuando estamos hablando, nosotros cambiamos un poquito nuestra voz, you know? le ponemos exactamente eso, le ponemos emoción. No hablamos así, esto se llama flat, no tenemos un tono de voz que sea flat, porque sonaría como yo lo acabo de hacer, you know? como que, ay, qué aburrido suena, no le interesa, you know? um, no porque su tono de voz sea así, sino por la inflexión, por el estrés que le pone a las palabras. So, um, ok, de lo que usted me contó, ¿Qué palabras son importantes? Usted mencionó, por ejemplo, co-workers. So, co-workers. Mencionó papers. Uh, mencionó mistakes. ¿Qué más mencionó? Logistics. Logistics. ¿Qué más? Shipper company. Ah, oh, shipping. Eh, shipping, ¿verdad? De, de, de transporte. Ok. Sí. All right. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Cuando usted mencione esas palabras o las palabras que son importantes para usted, necesito que las alargue, que las haga mucho más fuerte, que suenen más fuerte, all right? So, if I say, for example, uh, today afternoon, I received some papers. Digo lo mismo, pero la diferencia es que subo mi voz. Entonces, a eso le llamamos entonación. 
entonación es ponerle musicalidad a nuestra voz para que ya no suene como que soy aburrida, como que me estoy durmiendo. Hagamos una vez más. Let's do it one more time. And intente ponerle un poquito de mu musicalidad, un poquito de como más fuerza o más larga. Primero, intentamos hacer esa palabra más larga. Coworkers. Repita conmigo. Coworkers. Coworkers. Ok. Eh, papers. Papers. Ok. Mistakes. Mistakes. Hágalo más largo. Mistakes. Mistakes. Logistics. Logistics. Ship, perdón, shipping me falta una letra. So, shipping company. Shipping, shipping company. Okay, there you go. So, tell me one more time. Una vez más, what did you do in the afternoon? Okay, in the afternoon, I was delivered papers uh, to the office in, in the port uh, because I work in, a, in the department of logistics for the uh, shipping company and uh, because the papers was we delivered previously we delivered the previously the papers yesterday and was had a mistake so my co-workers sent me the papers uh, correct and was delivered the papers to the office in the port Oh, it sounds better. Probablemente usted no lo notó. Probably you didn't notice that. Pero sí cambió el tono de su voz. So your voice changed a lot. La musicalidad de su voz changed a lot. Um, so, Mauricio, le voy a enviar un ejercicio. I'm going to send you one little exercise que nos ayuda bastante con, eh, con esto. And, uh, el ejercicio es bastante corto. Es como de dos minutos. Es precisamente para entonación y pronunciación. Le voy a pedir que... Uh, que haga como cuando éramos niños, you know, que arremedábamos en salvadoreño. No, 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 sino que uh, como por ejemplo, si alguien decía, eh, soy salvadoreño, y cuando estábamos pequeños hacíamos lo mismo, soy salvadoreño, y copiábamos lo que alguien decía. Entonces vamos a intentar hacer eso, vamos a copiar pronunciación, entonación, la velocidad con la persona, eh, con la que la persona lo dice y sobre todo que sea súper claro, que la información que estamos dando sea igual, que el claro, eh, igual de claro que el audio. Eh, cuando esté listo se graba, right? So record yourself. Y, este, y, y me lo envía cuando ya lo tenga listo. No es para ahora, right? Puede ser para mañana, so Friday, that's okay. Cuando ya lo tenga listo me lo envía y me dice su feedback. Para poder darle un poco de seguimiento, si nos funciona eso, podemos you know, ver que otros ejercicios nos ayudan con pronunciación, con entonación y irlos combinando. All right? Pero so far creo que está haciendo un excelente trabajo, Mauricio. Thank you so much again for your participation and nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing okay. you tomorrow. Thank you. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. See you.